Hey everybody, welcome back to DKC3, and today we are tackling World 7, Chaos Core. So who owns the castle? K. Rule owns the castle. K. Rule is not here, remember? Nobody's seen him. Anyway, there's a flower. Let's give this flower to Bramble. Oh, right, this. Wow, it took it long enough. I remember, right at the end of the last recording, we were like, oh, there it is. Yeah, take your flower. Yep, here's your flower, give me a bird. Bananas Goldus Flutterus. Also known as a bird. Dixie doesn't even respond, she just walks out like, yep. Well, to be fair, that's what I would do, too. I mean, would you give him the time of day after that? I would nope out of there. I love eccentric bird people. Can we buy back this thing? Maybe. No. Whatever, he's an asshole. Maybe we have to actually see the guy in World 7 first. Eh, whatever. If not, I already know what we need it for anyway, so... Hey, that's not a castle. Sure it is. I mean, it looked a lot bigger on the outside. This is the whole cove. Alright, so this is, I think, the last level archetype in the game? This is the, uh, the jungle. And it has some really rad, like, jazzy stuff. I love this music for this level. It's a very good track. That my memory is going through right now. But yeah, so this this is all about conveyor belts. It's very very straightforward. But yeah, the uh, the ropes all have conveyor belt effects on them. So just be careful as you move around. Seems like this game really has a preoccupation with making ropes do weird things. Ropes are about as central to Donkey Kong as as barrels sometimes. What? Oh fuck! I missed I missed a star. Where is it? <laughs> it's up in the trees. Sorry, I got it, I got it. Crisis averted. You scared me. You were actually scared that he was going to fail a game that you could just go right back into? I was, because then he would have to take five seconds and walk back to the left. Wow. Terrifying. I am terrified, yes. What a great, what a great cachet. Thanks. It's just cash. A cash, you're right, I'm sorry. Cash coins. Coins are money. It's okay, it's a joke. Yeah, this level's pretty good. Um, the second half is definitely harder than the first, as good level design should probably be, but... I like it. Alright, so there is another... Oh, fuck. There's another bonus, like, right here, but it's hidden. Oh, you did it. I found that totally by accident. Yeah, it's not easy to spot. Those are the best kinds of secrets. Oh, this one. Um, so there's not- this is fine in this version. In the GBA version, because I finished it all, um, you have to collect, I believe, 30 bananas. Wait, what? Why would they do that? I mean, I know that they, the GBA version did make it so that there was just variable banana amounts, but what the shit? Yeah, I think you got more time, but it's like, okay, why? Padding. Kitty, your hitbox is too big. Just big bone, Jesus. That was your fault. It was. That was totally my fault, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't annoying. So how much power do you have to fight against the conveyors? Um, signif a significant amount. Like, you can actually actively go backwards like so. Some of them are faster than others, some of them are slower. Uh, but you usually can fight against. Truth be told, aside from that one gimmick, I kind of forgot a lot about the lost or the last world. I mean, yeah. Oh, don't yes, yeah, don't you worry. That level is coming up real soon. If it's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. It probably is. The infamous one that we're all probably thinking of. There's actually a couple good infamous levels in this whole game. What is the point of even going down there? I think there's an invisible life down there. Oh, uh, shit. Coin. There's coin. 
Oh, wow, how did you even do that? Nope. Oh, that wasn't right. Okay. There we go. Easy. You seem to be lucking into a lot of secrets today. By a lot, I mean two. More like locking his way between buzz saws. Anyway, so uh, this is Baffle in here. If you go in there, he is stuck with this code that he can't read. Just go in there and show him off. Oh, forgot. Fine. It would take you just about as long to show him off as it would to explain what he does outside of the thing. Right, he's, he's got a code and he needs to reflect on it. So this is why I keep saying we can buy the mirror back. Because you give him the mirror and he looks at it and it's literally a piece of paper that he just couldn't turn around. So he needed the mirror. Oh. And here I was thinking it was one of those stupid word puzzles like... You know, how do you get out of a room when you only have a, have a mirror? No, that would be far more interesting. Anyway, ghost barrels! Yeah, speaking of interesting, I think this this level is pretty well done. You remember the ghost ropes? It's kind of like this. Ah, so they're so they're going all slender on you. No, definitely not. Not everything scary, quote unquote, is slender. I'm just talking about the part where they're just kind of popping in and out of existence. Yeah. So the problem that I have with this level is that the amount of time that some barrels exist is almost in it's they exist for such a short amount of time and they're basically random at what direction they appear at that's fair so it is very easy to just kind of be stuck waiting because you know you needed to go up and it keeps going left left right left up left right yeah, that's fair, and usually most of the, the wrong answers lead into a B or something like that. I still like the concept of the level, though. I think it's it progresses well. Like, it teaches you at the beginning, and then the, sit, the setups get more complicated as you go. It's better in theory than it is in practice. I guess. I never found myself too, with too much trouble, but, I mean, even Arius doesn't seem like he's had much trouble with it, it's just a matter of waiting. Right, yeah, it's much more annoying if you were, like, say, trying to play this fast, but it's still, I feel like it would have been better if it's, if it, they at least went on a cycle instead of being completely random. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. The timer is not random. Like, it will always move with the same, they'll always appear with the same uh, timing, but their positions kind of change. Uh, right. DK barrel right here. Oh yeah, you'll want to use that. Hey, there's our spider buddy. He comes in handy. A little bit. Well, that means you don't have to deal with this ghost barrel thing quite as much. Yeah, he doesn't completely remove it, but he does clear out some of the more annoying parts of it. His main use, though, is to get up here. Ah! No! Stop! <laughs> Barrel! <laughs> <laughs> um... This seems wrong. Uh, I... Like most Donkey Kong things, you're probably supposed to follow the bananas. I mean, that's what I, that's what you could assume, but... Uh, it's a kind of short hops for... It. Well, you can angle your shots. I think the main problem is that it's Kitty riding riding the spider. Even the angled shots have a really wide fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Last resort is maybe try climbing up the wall, use the hitboxes of the wall or whatever. I don't know. Can I quote you on that, Artix? Sure, sure. You do. You do it to your heart's content. I mean, Artix says fuck all the time. It's not really that quotable. Well, yes, but... <laughs> Watch out for the bee! Yeah, this would be a whole lot easier if it, if it was if it was just Dixie riding, I think. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you probably should have made those platforms a little bit more... Yeah, fortunately, we oh, don't... Oh, it spits you right here, that's yeah, good. Yeah, we don't have to go all the way back up there. 
I was gonna say, and another candidate for getting later. But yeah, make make smaller bridges. Yeah. Uh. Boop, boop. There we go. Really racing through that one. You had like 16 seconds to spare. But why go slow when you could go fast? That's true. Sonic philosophy. Bye, Squitter. He was nice while he lasted. Yeah, his real purpose there is, as I said, just to get to that bonus. Uh, okay, nothing here. Well, oh, there's a coin there. That's something. Money. You need money, right? You haven't bought everything yet, have you? Uh, I mean, I've bought everything I need to. I'm pretty sure you've bought everything, other than the uh, the mirror that we're gonna say, fuck it, you can keep it forever. But it's our mirror. Oh, fuck, that wasn't- oh, right, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a, a little bit of- this is an interesting uh, coin to do. Oh, okay. Did it work? Oh, what? I fucked- I fucked up! I think you need Kitty. Cause he can kinda carry it under the- I don't need them at all, actually. Alright, you did it. Good enough. I'm guessing that's what that little alcove was for. Like, it just seemed like a place where you could stand and throw something into the air. Might be. We're getting close to the end. Bees! I don't know what's down there. I think it's just the G. That's okay, we don't need the G. We are con. Anyway, um, if we had done the whole little side quest here and given him the mirror, he would tell us to swim around these rocks in a figure eight. Yeah. The downside of not doing this is that, uh, well, there really is no downside, but, uh, Barter has been using the mirror to keep his appearance, uh, all nice and kempt. So, uh... If you take the mirror back from him and visit him again, his appearance, like, he, he stops dressing well. He's just like, ah, shit, I have no mirror and therefore I'm not even going to try. There we go. That wasn't so bad. No, I don't suppose it was. Oh... Here we go. Oh, man. So this is Lightning Lookout. This level is kind of infamous for being super goddamn bullshit. This level is one of the levels that stopped me for the longest time as a kid. Because the save point is right after this level. Now, yes, I probably should have gone, like somewhere else to save, but let's just say I got really used to the first two levels of this world because <laughs> I kept game overing on this one. So should we explain how the lightning works? Well, the lightning will strike and try to track you. It will kill the red, or it won't kill red bees, it will kill the green ones, and something we are going to hopefully- oh shit. Uh, okay. You can't do it. You can't do it, man. You can't do it. There is... Oh, fuck! Okay, well, I got... Got it. And I... Okay, yeah, sure. That's... Video games. It makes sense, but... Yeah. The thing that we are hoping to not show off is the water that's in this level is not cosmetic. If you are in the water when the lightning strikes... Okay, whatever. We'll just get coin later. Yep. Yeah, if you're in the water when the lightning strikes, um... You are electrocuted, even if you weren't hit directly by the lightning. So I guess it's not a- these aren't pure water lakes. No, no, and uh, like I said, there are more than a few instances where it will force you into the water. Mm-hmm. I- okay, kitty, sure. Wow. That didn't seem like it should have hit you. Also... Um, this cell was actually made easier on the GBA version because the frequency of lightning strikes is not as frequent. I was gonna say, I think it's... this is what, every two seconds? Oh, come on, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Clip that audio. <laughs> I think it was an appropriate response. 
Uh, yep. Electrocuted. And yeah, it seems to assume that you're going to be running forward in a, a set speed, so what you can theoretically do is just do a lot of stopping and going. Now the thing is, it will, it gives you the, it does give you, wow. What? It t does give you the tell as to where it will, will strike, because that first, like, flash will tell you where it's going to hit. Great. Fucking Christ, I forgot about this. Yeah. Well, you better get your partner, maybe you can get yourself back up into it. No, it's actually a very easy glide to make. As long as you have Dixie. Otherwise, you gotta team throw your way in there. Uh, if you don't have Dixie, then how do you team throw yourself? Um... Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, it was taking its sweet time there. It's, uh, the frequency is turned down in the bonus game, I think. Well, I'm grateful for that. Now, if they could have only done it in the rest of the level. One, one more... Alright, fuck, we're done, let's go. Get out. Well, I appreciate that the bonus games in this game do incorporate the gimmicks a little bit more. Sometimes I wish they'd be very straightforward. One of them I think you thread the needle on. That one. Okay, I missed one, I don't care. This is something I'm doing off screen. I think it was in uh I think it was in one of the water pools. Towards I think it was in the first half. Not to mention you also have to come back for coin anyway, so whatever. So Coin Dozer Clamber is I actually really like this level. It's another jungle level. I actually don't really like this. So these guys, they say they're just coins but without the DK coin. Yeah, these guys actually move. It's it's an interesting concept. I like the enemy. What I don't like so much is, is their hitboxes yeah, are kind of funky. And also that. It's a cool idea. I just... There's also some times where, like, you can stand on top of their shields, much like you can do with, with regular coin. But the, the problem is that, yeah, if, if you get them on the slant, they'll, sh they'll shove you and then they'll not stop shoving you. Additionally, if you're standing on the, the top of the shield and you're just a little bit too far to the left or right, they will bop you off, and uh, so you have to be very, like, centered on them. Yeah, this is definitely a level you want to lead with Dixie on. Mm-hmm. Because they won't uh, typically start running towards you until, like, you are on the ground with them. Uh, yep, memories are coming back now. Also, it's our friend Bazooka. Bazooka almost threw me into a pit. Some friends are not as good as others. I don't think he's your friend. I mean, he's pretty explicitly not. He's just doing his job, man. Maybe you're like vitriolic rivals or something. I don't know if I'd go that far either, but... <laughs> Somewhere in between friend and rival. Like, maybe he's your arch-nemesis? No. That's that's K. Rule, but we've beaten him, so it's not a problem. Is K. Rule really the ar our arch-nemesis? Like, he just seems to be kind of doing his own thing, and, the, and then we... He, well, he keeps wanting to take over the island. Well, yeah, but I get the feeling like he just wants to take over the island because that's his regular state of being. Like, he's an island-taking-over kind of guy. Yeah, and we're an island-saving type of family. All, all I'm saying is that this is probably just business for him. You know, it's like Bowser, you know? But Bowser represents the working class of the Mushroom Kingdom. Those Goombas have families too, you know. But it's, it's, it's the Toads that are, are opening all the businesses. Because the... because those loyal to Bowser have been stomped on for so long. So the Goombas are the lower class in this scenario, while the the Toads are the middle class? They're all mushrooms, man. Um, where is the switch for this? Here it is, I see it. Good luck with these jumps. Ooh, that was close. No luck required. 
pure skill slapped with a steel barrel. Hell yeah. Well, he knew that there would be a DK barrel, so it didn't matter, right? That's right. That's the that's the kind of high level pro stat that you're looking at here. Nice. Anyway, one more level before we hit the end here. Ah, uh, now this is the one that I was thinking about. You remember back when we were doing Poison Pond, I was saying, wasn't there a water level that reversed your controls? Yeah, yeah, that's what this is. You say you won't, you really won't see it unless you see me make a bunch of stupid moves. But yeah, for the most part, this is pretty straightforward. Your controls are reversed in the water. Yeah. It, it makes jumping out a little bit difficult, but other than that, I mean, it's basically just a water level in the pipeline, which I'm perfectly okay with. Also note that because of this, because it's a nice, like, purple water, you can actually, like, fucking see enemies in it. You know, unlike another game we played. What are you, what are you talking about? You don't need to see green enemies on a green background. I, you know, I'm not naming any names, but you know who you are. Okay, one thing I will say, though, is that it is really trippy that up and down are not reversed. I, I guess. Come on, Artix, like, they're mean, but they're not sadists. I would prefer if it was, to be honest. I can deal with that. Well, we ain't getting this bonus coin. Yeah, no, we're, uh, no, well, we got pretty close, actually. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, we get to keep him. Yeah, the bonus game in this case is actually pretty nice, because it, it lets you get on guard a little bit earlier than you would normally in the level. And it makes it easy to try it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is much easier when you know that up and down are not reversed. I guess that's fair, since Unguard is the only uh, use for up and down in uh, water levels other than like a minor boost in speed with, with pushing down. So, if you're not expecting it, you know. Anyways, don't fuck up because you don't have a hit. I think that's where Unguard is if you don't have him already. Uh, is this progress, or is this... That's progress. No, that was the opposite of progress. Congress. <laughs> see, again, that, that, see, that's what's... It threw me there, because I'm like, I'm... Rever I'm expecting reverse controls, and up and down aren't reversed. I blame my joke. So, one thing I've noticed is that... These guys have kind of like the these clown kind of clown makeup on their face or something. Like they've got the sort of X patterns on their eyes. Yeah, they actually do. Yeah, because they're clownfish. Actually, I think let me see what their official name is. Uh, it is Coco, but with a K for the first letter. Of course, it is. In, in my speech just now, uh, course is also spelled with a K. You can generally assume that all instances of C are replaced by Ks when we're, when we're talking. I've even, I've forgotten what a letter C looks like. Also, I apologize if this uh, on guard stabbing sound is annoying, but it is much more reliable than having to actually hold left or right. You mean you didn't? You're not going to just use his supercharge? I'm in a pipeline full of urchins. No, no, I'm not actually. Lame. Ah, uh, the on guard life is just so temporary. Whoops. Nope, fuck you, Coco. <laughs> I'm glad we know all the know the enemy names now. Now that we can refer to them with dignity. 
I wonder, like, do these, do the animal buddies just go to some kind of limbo when they're not being used? Possibly. Those barrels are actually probably advanced teleporters, but that makes me wonder what the signs are. They're like those, um, those fields in Portal where if you, like, if you try to bring the, uh, the box past them, it just disintegrates it. <laughs> That's actually what happens to Ellie. That's what happens to Ellie every time you try and go past that sign. But does she die? Um, that looks like a bonus over here. Well, in as much as you assume that it, teleportation involves killing a person and then having them be reborn on the, on the other side. I wasn't expecting it to come up that high. Well, you better make it. It's right here. The, philosoph the philosophy of teleporting somebody has never really been touched on, on in sci-fi shows, as far as I know. Oh, well, it probably has. It's just in terms of realistic uh, systems or whatever. Teleportation is probably not going to happen for some time. At least on the scale that, like, we would need for humans. In terms of small... Like, few particles things, I think we've already gotten few particles teleported. Oh yeah, and exiting the water, your controls immediately reestablish themselves, right? Yes, let's... Never mind theoretical physics, let's get back to Donkey Kong. The true insanity of physics. Alright, so that is actually it for the main game. The final boss is in here, and we will see you for that next time. Wait, I want my money back. I thought we were doing all of World 7. It'll be in part two, Jesus Christ. Oh. Where we definitely fight Chaos. It's his castle, it says as much. Yes, definitely. Chaos is 100% the final boss and you'll all see next time. <laughs>